Welcome to Dr. Ravi's Academy. From today's video, you will be learning how to draw the isometric view of a hexagonal plane. As you know, in a hexagonal plane, you have certain edges or non-isometric edges. Obviously, whenever you come across with uh, non-isometric edges, you need to draw the orthographic projection. So, let us draw orthographic projections using circle method. First, you draw uh, with radius uh, as a given edge 30 mm, let us assume that 30 mm is the edge size and uh, draw a circle with 30 mm as radius and uh, if you want to keep that edge uh, vertical, draw the vertical diameter and uh, the end points as center with the same radius either of the side you draw the circular arc on the circumference with the other end draw two more circular arcs so that you are going to get the six edges join in proper sequence and you are going to get the hexagonal plane. So, in this you can see that as you have taken the vertical diameter the edge is vertical. If you want to keep that uh, edge as horizontal then obviously you have to take horizontal diameter and this end as center with radius same 30 mm either of the side with this size center either of the side so that you can complete the hexagon keeping that one of the edge horizontal. So, this becomes uh, mandatory because uh, certain edges are you know <coughs> uh, non isometric. So, in this case what you have to do is you have to go for isometric inscribe this hexagon in a rectangle. So, let us inscribe this hexagon in a rectangle because you want to draw the isometric view of this rectangle in which you have all the edges are isometric. Let us call this as 1, 2, 3, 4. First of all you have to draw the isometric view of the this uh, rectangle then with the help of compass you have to locate the points and these points I am calling it as edges the corners as uh, a, B, C, D, E and F. So, in this case let us draw a horizontal line. Now, first of all I want to draw this isometric view with the front view and in front view as you know the vertical lines remains vertical and the horizontal will be inclined at an angle 30 degrees with the horizontal. So, let us draw this and complete this 1, 2, 3, 4 rectangle in isometric view. So, draw the parallel line and measure this length, draw the parallel and complete the parallelogram in front view, give the numbers that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and uh, with the help of compass, this, uh, this point is a midpoint, E is a midpoint as well as B is also a midpoint and uh, this distance which is uh, common for every cent, every point from 1 you locate the point and from 2 you locate the point with the same radius you have to take from you have to set off from this and from 3 also locate this and from 4. So, join in proper sequence you are going to get the required isometric view of the hexagonal plane. You can see that certain edges are randomly changing the dimensions. So, this is in front view if it is in front view it is like this. If it is in top view, you have to take the horizontal reference line to the right at an angle 30 degrees and to the left also at an angle 30 degrees and complete this parallelogram 1, 2, 3, 4 and give the numbering that is 1, 2, 3 and 4. With the same radius, you can just locate from 1 the required point that is your A and from 2 locate this point and from 3 and from 4 locate this point. After locating this, these are the two midpoints you can locate and join in proper sequence you are going to get the required isometric view of the hexagonal plane. So, this is in top view. So, from this video you have learned that how to draw the asymmetric view of a 
hexagonal plane. Thank you.